All right, guys, today we are going to do a carburetor and fuel lines on an Echo PB580T. Um, everything will be in the description below. It's a whole kit, super cheap. I use lots of these, they do work. Um, comes with a carburetor, spark plug, new fuel filter, fuel lines, gaskets couple of spare primer balls for later on when your screw dry rots out you can have replacements and an air filter all right so the first thing we're going to do is take off the air filter um, if you can't get it to turn you can put a flathead screwdriver in it to help turn it sometimes they get real tight on you Air filter is good, it's still clean. Blow it out. You know, you can just blow these out. They can keep getting used over and over again. Um, this is a torque 27. We're gonna take those two out with a torque 27 wrench. I use a still tool, it's got the torque 27 on it. They're super cheap on Amazon. I'll put them in the description. Also has a spark plug socket on it. So the Torque 27 is on everything, recoil, everything. So this is a handy tool to have if you've got this blower. Put it in the description below as well if I remember it. But first, these two. Oh, just remember this was up, the opening was up. Everything's falling off now. All right. Now we're going to go ahead pop this off. Just like that. Now this gasket stayed on, so we're just going to leave it there. But this is the direction that it goes. It's got the slot. This vacuum line hole right here runs your fuel pump. That's on your built into your carburetor. It goes right there. That's a vacuum line. So we got to have this gasket on, and it's got to line up. To the hole that's on the intake and on the carburetor that goes a little hole goes up all right we're going to go ahead and remove the fuel lines and then this is this throttle is just a hook so hooks from the outside to the inside take that off Get that out of there now we're going to pull these fuel lines out of there and then put a flathead screwdriver in here and just pry it up. It takes two hands because I got to hold the blower at the same time, but it pops right out. It's coming out now. It's easier if you're holding the blower and doing it with one hand and holding the blower with the other. All right, pull this thing right on out of here. set that down we're going to rebuild this guy here now now it's got this rubber uh this, this plastic grommet in it we're, okay first let's just pull the yellow line out of there this is the vent it lets air in the tank but no gas out of the tank we're going to leave that there we're going to pull this line out of the grommet plastic nipple in this but they only have one that has a plastic nipple. The yellow line doesn't have one. But if you look at the grommet, you have to make sure this hole's loose, this hole's loose. So the problem we're gonna have with this line here is it's not gonna wanna go back in tight. The black line is tight, but it's bigger around than the yellow. So the black line will be fine. It won't need the nipple. So we're going to use the nipple on the yellow line instead. So we're going to go ahead and pull the nipple out. Take and force the yellow line onto the nipple. You're going to find it's very difficult to get on there. We get as close to the top as you can. 
I could probably even get it all the way to the top, it's just a pain in the ass. So then we're going to pull the fuel line through the grommet. And that's right tight in there. Now we got a nice tight grommet. And this is just return line, so this is just going to squirt gas back in the tank. You don't need any other line on the bottom of this. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and feed this line through the other hole. Put our fuel line on this end. Little filter, I mean, like that. And we're gonna go ahead and drop this right into the tank. Get that filter to go that direction. You got way too much line in the tank. Don't worry about it. We're gonna pull it up to the carburetor once we get to it. And this we're gonna cut to length. To the carburetor once we get to that part right now we're going to take this and shove the back side down into the uh tank like that and then while holding this we're going to use our flathead screwdriver and just work our way around from one end to the other but you got to hold the back in it takes two hands so i got to do it with two hands a little at a time you know you work your way around it and just force it into the tank just a little at a time, force it down. Alright, now, the turn line just squirts back in. Fuel filter line pulls fuel up into it. Alright, so now we're going to figure out which one is which. Um, fuel, hold on. Yeah, so the fuel in line the one that goes to the filter this is your fuel pump always goes to your fuel pump side and then the primer ball squirts fuel back out so outside is you know to the near the primer ball so the yellow line is going to go close to the primer ball the black line is going to go furthest from the primer ball closest to the fuel pump so we're going to hook up this black line first pull the black line till we get to where we're kind of lined up right here good and lined up now we're gonna go ahead oh, sorry right here we're good and lined up now we're gonna go ahead and hook our throttle up from the outside to the inside here let me turn on the flashlight there you go. outside to the inside there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and bolt this carburetor down with the intake manifold. I'm just going to let that hang right there. So we're going to take and put our bolts back in. Choke arm to the right, this vent up. And then we're going to put it through the carburetor. Okay, first put gasket on the one without the holes um, it actually would be this gasket if you're doing the new one I'm just putting the old one on it's fine if yours breaks use this one and then this one goes between the carburetor if that one breaks and then we're going to take this and go through the carburetor choke arm towards the recoil that and we're going to line that up and we're going to go ahead and tighten that down now any of the slack we got with the black line you just push it back through use a pair of needle nose or wherever just push it back down in the tank and take up any of the slack um yellow line can get hooked up now Let's see if we can find a better way there we go see that right there so you're going to cut the yellow line to length and you're going to work your way over to that that nipple that's down in the back there with a pair of needle nose usually just like that and prime it up see if it takes any fuel it is taking fuel on i do have a tip up on the side oh make sure 
Like I've already gone through this and changed out the gas, trying to make this run before. Um, clean up all the old fuel, clean your tank completely out before you put this fuel through your brand new carburetor because it could be old bad fuel. And if you got old bad fuel, you're just gonna ruin your nice new carburetor. All right, so it primed up good. All right, so we're gonna give her a little test here. I'm not sure if that actually showed, but I just ground this out just a little bit. I just took a little grinder, you take a Dremel, whatever, just really quick because this arm wasn't as long as this arm, it wasn't sticking out far enough, and it was just touching that barely, but it was touching it. Also, I forgot to run the fuel lines through there, so we're going to take the fuel lines back off this, run them through that, and then hook them back up one at a time. Okay, a few lines are up through where they belong, and then throttle working the way it's supposed to work right there. Now we're going to go ahead, oh here, you know what, before we do that, it's always nice to fire it up before you do that. Let's fire it up again. Alright, so it needs to be, the carburetor needs to be adjusted. I'll do that on another video, the next video. Again, it's going to need the carburetor adjusted. I'm going to do that in another video. It gives me a whole other video to do. So we're going to go ahead and put the air filter on. Nice brand new one. And air filter cover. These vents down. 
I'm going to need both hands for that. Alright guys, now again I'm going to do the uh, carburetor adjustment video next. So if you want to know how to do that, that will be on my YouTube channel as well. All the parts will be in the description below. Uh, if you want to do any advertising through me, message me. I'd love to get a sponsor. Today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. Peace.